Hello and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Timothy. I do the reading of the Word of God, personal testimonies of mine, and easy biblical lessons you can learn so you can share the gospel with others. Today is a new episode of Word of God Speak. This is a new series I'm starting where I do interviews with men and women of God who has heard God speaking to them and their lives and the direction they were heading has completely changed. I hope you enjoy the interview. I'm finding myself at a loss for words and the funny thing is it's okay the last thing I not because I'm anything. I'm an old farm boy from Michigan, but the thing is God wants to help people. He wants to, and he, we carry this treasury in earth and vessels. And so we're carrying him around to where he needs to be so he can do what he wants to do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't want to get into the preach too much because I'll be here for hours. But, yeah, but I'm just talk. telling you, <laughs> Jesus loves you, driver. He loves you so much. He loves you more than you, anybody has ever loved you. And he is there to solve every problem. He was with Daniel in the lion's den. He was with the three Hebrew children in the fire. And I'm going to tell you something. He's been with me for 40 years, and he has never failed me ever. Yeah. Ever. And I've been through some stuff. Yeah. Jack knife. Been through 52 days in the hospital. All kinds of different things. But he's been with me every step of the way. And he'll be that way for you if you just ask him into your heart. Yeah. You just say, hey, Jesus, I'm giving up. <laughs> How's that working out for you? If it's not yeah. working out for you, get the guy that will make it work out. That's what I say. So I make, better be quiet. Yeah. Make sure you come on in and see us, and you're welcome day and night. We've got the big parking lot out there, and I've got three showers, and we've got the laundry. Um, like I said, in the, we have a breakfast menu, so our, our breakfasts are made to order. So whatever you order, we have our cook, Eric, he, in the morning, and then I work on Thursday mornings, and we do your breakfast and bring it out, and there's drinks, tea, sweet tea, iced tea, lemonades, uh, coffee, tea, whatever, milk. Yeah, we have everything, and, waffles, we yep. have, you know, biscuits and gravy, and burritos. then Yeah, and in the evenings, I have a, we have a meal that's uh, set that we bring out every... Uh, in the evenings, we have a, like, tonight's going to be a turkey dinner, like, and then we've been doing spaghetti and, and different meals, and it's all fresh made. It's nothing store-bought, so, and it's not your fast food, restaurant food. Well, so. we have to buy it in the store. Well, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, okay. But, and, yeah, it's prepped the night before, and we're ready to go the, that day, so it's all fresh and ready Made to go. From so, yeah, yeah. So, hope to see you here. Again, I'm Deb, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to yeah. share the road angel with you. But you got to come here. It's like Sturgis; you can't just look at it in pictures. You got to go there to see. It. Do you want to say a prayer, and then I'm going to grab this phone. I can. Yep. Father, I thank you for this meeting that you set up today, for us to do this interview. And Lord, there's somebody that's going to see this that uh, really needs you, and uh, and it's going to touch them. So Lord, I thank you that you said that no man comes unto you unless he's, or unto, unto Jesus unless he's drawn by the Father. So Father, we ask you to draw him. We ask you to bring him in here from the north, south, east, and the west. Um, bring him here for that little repair job, that little thing they need to get tweaked, and, and uh, maybe an overhaul, but whatever they need. Father, help us to be there to help them do that. In Jesus' name, amen.
Amen. Thank you so much for sharing uh, the work you do here for uh, us drivers. Uh, can you just tell us one more time where you located? Uh, how can they reach you? And uh, maybe if they want to do donations, uh, if they can't come here personally, how they can uh, get online and do that? Yeah, I'd be glad to. We are. You, the, the first thing you want to know is our website. That's RoadAngelTruckersCenter.com. RoadAngelTruckersCenter.com. You can do everything from the website. You can actually send me a message. You can hit the donate button and you can donate with your card online, whatever you need to do. Um, we are 501c3, like I said, and, and really at this time, uh, I'm not big about asking for money, but things have been pretty slow, so we could use a little boost. And, uh, and uh, yeah, or you can mail it to 13th uh, Association of Christian Truckers, or just ACT, 1366 US Highway 40, Brownstown, Illinois. Mm -hmm. That's ACT 1366 US Highway 40, Brownstown, Illinois 62418. So you can send it in the mail. Um, but uh, we are located at exit 68 on I 70, which is 70 miles east of St. Louis and 30 miles west of Effingham, where the Big Cross is. And uh, that's where we're located. Our email is Association of Christian Truckers at gmail.com that's association of christian truckers at gmail.com and uh, my phone number is 507-271-6108 that's 507-271-6108 and um, i'm available if i'm not on the phone or i'm so deep asleep i don't hear it <laughs> i will answer you and uh that's that's about it i think for our contact info oh we do have a facebook page and that is ACT Road Angel. So if you get on there, um, yeah. And we also have t-shirts and uh, and polos. And hats. And hats yep. and stuff for sale yeah. here too also. You know, that goes towards the ministry. And there's some yeah, you too can have this bright yeah. yellow ACT shirt. And, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah, go bright. And uh, there's a crafting back there. We have a lady from uh, Alabama that sends us in some stuff that we, that she does this plastic canvas work that, you know, all the proceeds of that go to yeah. the Road Angels. So. She used to be a, a chaplain down yeah. in Alabama at the uh, TA, and uh, they, they kicked her out of there, but... Yeah, um, wonderful lady, so her yeah. name is Pat. So, so yeah, we have, we have a lot of stuff, and, uh, but mostly we have a place for the driver to come and rest. Yeah, feel like home. Yep. So. And mm. if I don't know it, I'll find it out. Right. Because I know the guy that does. Yeah. So maybe I should end with what I always say. Roll on with Jesus. Roll on with Jesus. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you. you for having us. I'm finding myself at a loss for words. I hope this interview has encouraged you, inspired you, and has raised your hopes in sharing Christ with others. God bless and take care.